for the love of God, go meditate. Four of air. That's definitely meditation energy. Queen of earth. Sun reverse. Somebody could be um, very sad, depressed, very anxious. They could be very anxious over you guys coming into union. Full reversed. Knight of fire. Ace of earth. They was trying to fool somebody and stop some new energy or new beginning. They're very stressed out. They may need this. I feel like this is a karmic energy. Stressing. Night of fire. They could be stressing out about something you said or somebody said. The empress. Four of water. Something they did in the dark or that was hidden got rejected, I feel like. They were trying to keep, there's a stoplight here. They've been trying to keep something stuck or keep somebody waiting or on pause or some kind of delays. Yeah, this person's sad in the five of water. Five of fire. This is somebody competing with you guys or something. Um, they could be trying to send you guys chaos, conflict, or get you guys to fight or something like that. Seven of water. I feel like more so they're trying to play in someone's energy. And king of fire. Five of fire. They could be competing regards to a lover. Young woman reversed. That could be a, a immature person. Thoughts reversed, friend reversed. I just heard they're powerless now. Five of water. Someone's could be coming up out of a room or a house. Room reverse or coming out of um, solitude or hermit mode. I see living with a friend here too. Somebody could be living with a friend. Friend reverse. A friend secretly tries to copy everything you do. So some friend, something about a friend. Our relationship is very different and special. Other people don't understand it, but I don't care anymore. That could be their friend or your friend that needs to go meditate or something. They're panicking, paranoid, overthinking things or stressing about you guys coming together, I feel like. What is this room reverse? Okay, living with a friend came out. Living with a friend. Somebody, a karmic caused them to lose their job. They could be staying with a friend after they lost their job. Is this part, is this somebody stressing because they don't want this person to move out of a room or something? Yeah, they're scared of feeling lonely. They're trying to keep this person tied, trapped, bound to the devil. So this person might be afraid to be alone. Serial stalker is here too. Serial stalker. 
I feel like they could be in the same house stalking this person, possibly in another room. That could be part of their routine. Okay, so living with a friend. Friend, thought reversed. Page of coins reversed. Somebody's doing something to control someone's mind so you don't get an offer or there's no commitment. They could be doing black magic in another room. They've been doing this for a really long time to have this person reject you in the four of cups. They're doing, they've been doing this for a long time. So this person stays unhappy. This is sad. Friend reverse. Yes. Yeah, someone's friend is getting caught. They're staying with this friend that they're staying with is doing black magic, possibly mental magic. Death reverse page of swords reverse. They're doing this to, to stop a, to stop something so they don't end something out. I feel like they're trying to make sure someone doesn't move up out of a house or a room. Living with a friend, room reverse. This could be Eight of Pentacles. They're working on getting out of the situation. This could be somebody they work with, possibly coworkers, roommates. Caused them to lose their job. Death reverse. So. Is this friend trying to keep them stuck living with them? Yeah, but that's not going to happen that way. They're getting untied. Eight of swords reverse. They're getting untied. This friend or whoever this is, they're, they're paranoid about having to be alone or be lonely again. Mm -hmm. They're going to be real sad after this person moves out or you move out. The moon. They keep trying to confuse them. They could have been lying and stuff. The moon. Is this friend doing magic on them? Two coins. They're doing this day by day to make sure there's no commitment and to make sure this person doesn't sell away or move on. This is clarity. Somebody's friend, your friend is doing magic over you guys. Show me this room reverse. Ace of coins reverse. It looks, yeah, it looks like somebody's living in a room or in a house with somebody because they lost their job or lost some income or something or they can't take care of themselves. Two of coins. They're trying to get you guys to move on from each other or something. Serial stalker. Their friend could be stalking them or stalking you. They're jealous. They're obsessive. Some friend obsessively stalks you guys. They're, they could secretly have feelings for you, admire you. Four swords. They're upset because someone is healing or something. Seven of swords. This friend is doing bad things. You need to move out. They're doing really wicked stuff to try to hold and possess you. They're in the Nine of Swords, this friend or whoever this is. Tell us more about a friend or whoever this is they're staying with. They're mad because they can't cling and hold on to you anymore. That right there tells you. That's sad. So your friend is trying to hold you hostage, basically. Because they're scared of be, being alone. So maybe they're single. <clears throat> I want to sabotage what you two have that is special. I'm fucking with his mind today to try to get my way. Wow. What is a friend doing to somebody's mind? Second house, seventh house. Taurus, Libra, they know someone's going to be getting on this chariot and going towards a partner. Yeah, I keep hearing, don't go there, don't go there. They're like, don't go there, don't go there. They're trying to keep this person codependent. Something about somebody's health, for some of y'all, something about someone's health. Third house. Wow, that is such a turn off. 
12th house, Gemini, Pisces. Yeah, your friend is in their room or something panicking, possibly at nighttime, possibly secretly panicking because they're scared you're about to leave, you're about to move out or something. Yeah, death. They know you're about to, some change, you're about to end the situation and move out. Two of swords, they're trying to keep you at a stalemate. They could be literally telling you like, don't go there, don't, don't move on, don't move out. Or they're doing some kind of mental magic. They want you at a stalemate. They want you in stagnation. Eight of coins. Yeah, they're doing something. You guys can work together too for some of y'all. They're doing something to make sure you don't leave. Eight of coins. Yeah, they're manipulating you. King of swords reverse. Controlling mind games, manipulation. Yeah, they're telling this person somehow, like, don't leave or don't go there. That's what I'm hearing. Three of Cups. Some friends are doing this. That's sad. They're scared of feeling lonely. Yeah, they're in the Nine of Swords. Anxiety, worry, fear, depression, hopelessness, nightmares, insomnia. This could be part of their trauma. They're in despair because they know they're about to be alone. Why don't they go find somebody then? Damn. 